Hi and welcome back to Setpoint. Today we're going to talk about how a shop who is constantly building equipment and shipping it can implement certain parts from the Toyota production system such as 5S. Today that's what we're going to talk about. And 5S stands for sort, straighten, shine, standardize, and sustain. Alright, so let's talk for a second about sort. In our process, we have components coming into shipping on a daily basis. We've got to find some sort of method to put those together by subassembly and deliver them to the shop floor for integration into the machine. So what we've done is we've taken this rack, very cost effective method, it's on wheels, so it can be utilized back in uh, the receiving area. The parts can be kitted up by subassembly into these small little totes. And each tote has the subassembly drawing on it, so it's very, very organized and very systematic. Inside the tote, we have a subassembly. So once these are put together and ready to go, it's taken to the shop floor for integration into the machine. A very easy way to implement sort of the 5S. So another part of the 5S is straighten. Here I've got a workstation. I'm working on a customer's tool potentially here. And I've got components that I've taken out of our standard bins. At the end of the day, I want to straighten everything up so that uh, it's organized. I'll put my components back in the bin. I'll take my bin. Place it into the rack as we've already talked about. Take my tools, put them in my toolbox. Overall, straighten up this work cell so in the morning I can come back ready to hit the project hard again. So shine is another very important part of the 5S. Uh, at the end of the day, you've got to sweep the shop floor up, make sure that everything's put away and clean and tidy. Here's a great example of how to manage your hand tools in the shop. We have a shadow board behind here, and notice there's some drills and whatnot missing. They're out waiting to come back in. Easy to find out or see visually where it goes and put it back in there. So this really helps with the shine aspect of the 5S. Let's talk about standardized now. We've already shown you these bins. This is our standard method of bringing parts from procurement, kitting them up, and bringing them out to the shop floor for integration into the machine. Let me show you another idea. So let's look at brass fittings right here in this drawer. We have a whole pile of brass fittings, all different sizes, lengths, diameters, everything. So here's our standard process for our everyday components that we use in assembly of our equipment. Okay, we have vendors come and they replenish these stock items and there's all kinds of different ones. But let's just look at these uh, brass fittings here. There's a two bin system. Very, very simple. This standardizes the way we reorder parts as they're used. If this first bin is used, we pull the Kanban card or the signal card, place it in the front of the drawer here. When our vendors come, they can easily see which components need to be replenished. So this process allows us a very, very simple and maintainable way to standardize our everyday use parts here in the shop. So a real important part of the 5S is sustainment. You can have all these great procedures and practices and everything in place, but if you don't sustain it and use them on a daily basis, it does you no good. It slowly becomes chaos. So we already talked about our racks. Every single project brings parts in from uh, receiving, takes them out to point of use on the shop floor. We have racks that are easily uh, sustainable that, uh, for Kanban for wires. We talked about our replenish uh, system for the bins for the common use items in the shop. Easy to sustain. There's a method for everything and it's easy to sustain it using those methods. Setpoint is the leader in lean automation solutions. For over 17 years we have delivered custom automated solutions to a broad variety of industries.